would you like to know what are escape characters in python then this is the video for you myself rakesh i am from the channel automate with rakesh please do subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon so let's understand what are this escape characters okay what is it for example if i create a variable called a and here i am going to enter a sentence right for example my name is rakesh and i teach python so this way this is you know this is a pretty simple sentence and i can i can highly you know i i am highly pretty sure that i can go ahead and print this without any problem in this printing but there are times when in a sentence you would like to use a double quote right or a single quote so in this case what is happening there is already a double quote at the starting of the sentence and end of the sentence and in between you are trying to enter a double quote because that word has to be quoted now if the word has to be quoted in python you know this will throw error this will not allow you now for this to function there is something called escape character so escape means it will tell python hey there is a special word it has to be treated differently that means the moment i put a backward slash before that double quotes that means it understands hey i need to type what i need to type the double quote here so it will not consider as part of the quote but it will consider as a string getting it so this is the the backslash here is the is the escape character okay so how how i have used you see okay now if i run it there are a couple of other things i am going to tell you so now you can see the python was printed in double quotes so that you know um, suffice the need that if i have to type something in double quote this is one way the other simple way let's say is let's say i am using a single quote if i am using a single quote uh, for the entire string and i don't want to use uh, escape character let's say a single quote then because the string is starting with a single quote then it will allow the double quote now if i print if you see without an error it is printing what if i want to put a single quote will it allow me instead of a double quote if i put a single quote right if i put a single quote it is definitely throw me an error syntax error getting it now again the same thing applies i have to use a escape character so what are you what are we learning from this the escape character means let's say if there is a string where there's a double quote is used to define the string and inside that string i would like to use one more double quote then it is not allowed to allow it i have to use the escape character that is the backward slash before the quote and you know any a number of times you are using the quote before that you have to use a backslash and that would allow it now if i print you know it is printing getting it so that is one thing the other one very important part i would show you uh many time we would like to print a word below the other right below the other for example um that can be achieved in different ways but let's say i want to print hello um and below that i want to print uh word or any anything let's say my name is rakesh my name is rakesh and uh, rakesh this is one word and below that i want to print i teach python now how do you print this how do you print so there is also escape character for this i'm going to show you in a while so enter now what would happen if i print this it is just printing everything in a single line now i want the second line to be printed in, in the bottom so all i have to do i have to use a escape character and say n n means new line okay this is one of the important and very useful one okay here you can see my name is rakesh and it is python this has come one after the other okay so there are multiple such uh, escape characters but these are the very common ones which are used the backslash and the backslash n uh, there are multiple things um, uh, you know backslash r double backslash there are so many things but these are the most useful escape characters okay so that's all about it for the video So thank you guys for watching it we are going to meet once again in our next video keep making your note keep building your notebook with new syntaxes that you are learning every day from the videos so please do follow this playlist please do follow the python playlist which i have created and continue to learn python in an easy way
Thank you guys. Please do subscribe and please do hit on the bell icon. We are going to meet once again in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.